Hello guys, girls and grills. Welcome back to the Fogo Life. Today we're bringing together two of life's greatest delicacies, bacon and pickles. So I already went ahead and loaded my big green egg with some Fogo premium charcoal. So we're gonna start by taking a piece of our bacon, lay it out, take a pickle, kind of wrap it around, and then we're gonna just go around the pickle like so. And this bacon's really thin, so I feel comfortable double wrapping it. If the bacon was a little bit thicker, I wouldn't want to double wrap the bacon as that might alter the bacon getting cooked all the way through. So I think that bacon and pickles are two different sides of savory. I think it's gonna be a really interesting flavor combination. I have a hard time finding anything wrapped in bacon tasting bad. So the trick to getting these just right you want to make sure you place that last end of bacon face down underneath the pickle so that the weight of it can almost try to conceal it. And you won't even need to use toothpicks to secure it. Just let the weight of the pickle do all the work. Now that we have all of our pickles wrapped with bacon, we're going to go ahead and spray it with a little bit of olive oil. Now we're going to go ahead and hit them with some Grill Girl Robin's Sunshine State of Mind. This is one of my personal favorite rubs to use for just about anything. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice healthy coating. Since we're going indirect, it's gonna be fine throwing these right on the grates. They're not gonna burn, no open flames or anything like that. We're just gonna let them cook for maybe 20 to 25 minutes at roughly 325 to 350 degrees, kind of bouncing between there. While we're waiting for our pickles, we're gonna assemble our sauce. We're gonna start with a base of mayo. Next, we're gonna add some sour cream. I'm not really using any measurements here. I'm just kind of eyeballing it how I think I'm going to like it. I'm going to add about a cap full of apple cider vinegar, some of Tina Cannon's European blend, a little more of our sunshine state of mind, and I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce because I like a little extra heat. I'm just adding things as I like it, tasting it as I go. Um, I like it how it is, but just for a little extra flavor, this is optional. I'm gonna go in with some Old Town barbecue sauce. This is my current favorite barbecue sauce. Um, I just tried this recently for the first time and I am hooked. So you mix that all together, do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. That is what it's all about. We're probably about halfway through our cook, so we're gonna go ahead and check on these guys. Oh yeah, I'd say we're about halfway done. They're looking really good. We're gonna go ahead and take more of our Old Town barbecue sauce base that right on there. These already smell so good, I can tell they're just gonna be fantastic. Now that they're all sauced up, I'm just gonna hit them one more time with a little bit more of our sunshine state of mind. Put them back to sleep for probably 10, 15 more minutes or so. Play it by ear. If they're starting to look done and they're cooked to how you want them to be, go ahead and pull them off. All right, I'd say it's probably been about 25 minutes or so since we brushed on some barbecue sauce. Now it's time to check out how our pickles are looking. Oh my goodness. I don't mean to brag, but I think these are gonna be a big deal. But I, I think they're, they're looking pretty done, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these off. All right, our pickles are off. Only one thing left to do, time to taste. Let's go ahead, get some sauce on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, it tastes nothing like I, expected it to taste like, but it's really, really, really good. Like, this might be my new go-to for like parties or tailgates or any anything I need to throw something together for. Mm. Wow, cooking it down really soften the pickle so you, you get like the burst of juice and flavor, but it's not so super strong. And then the, the flavor of the smoke and the bacon and the caramelization from the sauce. Mm. This is a 10 out of 10. Wow. It's like, it's like really good. <laughs> really, really, really good. Wow. Well, this completely surpassed any expectations I had. Um, this really is so delicious. I recommend going to try this if you never have. We'll see you next time on the Fogo Life. And remember, life's too short for boring food. So wrap everything in bacon and smoke it with Fogo. Kick and Kate. Out.